Welcome back. You are now watching video 13 and the continuation of this video presentation titled Ignorance of White and Black Supremacy Exposed, which is part of my series of video presentations called The Redemption from the Curse of the Black Spell. And again, I just want to say thanks very much for joining me and um, for being with me this long into the presentation now if you did not watch video 1 to 12 in that order I humbly suggest that you do so now by so doing I think that you may be able to better appreciate the entire presentation and the, 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 the content and you'll also see the reasons for my for trying to be so detailed now please let me continue exposing um, Satan and his chosen people's lie as it pertains to fair skin the adjectival phrase fair skinned according to the Winston Canadian um, dictionary for schools, that's this, I'm using a little dictionary here, well it's a reasonably big dictionary. According to this dictionary, the word fair skin is an adjective. It, it means, and I quote, one pleasing to the sight as a fair city, two, light in complexion, three, Blond or blondie as fair skin. Three, without blemish, clean as a fair name. Four, not cloudy, clear as today will be fair. Five, fair skin, the phrase, um, the word fair, honest, just as fair play. Six, moderately good as a fierce score and it continues seven open and law open to lawful pursuit as fear game in a fear manner as to play fear unquote i give you all these definitions i wish as i said before i had the opportunity or the way the way with all to present the definition on the screen directly from the Dictionary, but I'm sure most of you, my viewers, will research this for yourself and see that I'm not making things up. I'm just interpreting them, giving you another perspective on everything. Now, here are some synonyms for the word fear, words that are similar in meanings, according to the new lexicon uh, Webster's Dictionary of the English Language. The synonyms for the word fear are one bright, clear, dry, light, mild, pleasant, uh, sunny, attractive, blonde, comely, um, lovely, uh, candid, decent, um, equitable, frank, honest, uh, impartial just open reasonable unbiased and the list goes on some of the antonyms or words that are opposite of the word fear are and i quote a foul tempestuous that is the opposite antonyms means opposite ugly it's the opposite of fear again. I want to remind you of that. Ugly, unattractive, devious, dishonorable, fraudulent, partial, etc. So, let me use the rules and syntax of the English language and see if I may interpret this phrase, fear skinned, correctly. The word fear is an adjective, and an adjective is a descriptive word. 
And according to this same dictionary, the adjective function is to the adjective's function is to express the quality or condition of the noun or pronoun. Or an adjective is a word that is used to limit or define a noun or a pronoun. Pronoun. In fact, the dictionary did not stop there or leave us hanging, thereby subject to our own interpretations. But it went as far as to give us some examples. Examples, a bad law. Law, L-A-W, is the noun. Bad is the adjective. So it tells you that the law is bad. A wise man. Again, the word wise is the adjective, man is the noun. Another example is a green leaf. Green is the adjective and the leaf is the noun. So the leaf, it tells you what kind of leaf it is. Its quality and its, um, its condition or characteristics, if you will. So, a fair-skinned person, by meaning and definition, is a person that is one pleasing to the sight, according to the dictionary. So, it gives you great pleasure just to look up on such a person. A fair-skinned person is an awesome person that is delightful to look upon. To a fair-skinned person is light in complexion. Now, unfortunately, and because of the devil's deception, most people take these words for granted and just gloss over them while thinking that it is no big thing. Oh, it's just it just means that one's complexion is darker than the other, without knowing that it is far more deeper than that. Without knowing or even thinking about the psychological indoctrination of prejudice, inferiority complexes, discrimination, resentments, and racism, etc., that are inculcated in our innocent and unsuspecting minds. These things, the subtleties, in the use and meanings of these words and adjectival phrase are the heart and kernel of discrimination. These are the heart and kernel of segregation, confusion, and the ideology that is called racism, etc. And here is also another proof why ignorance of the slave master's language will continue to keep us in mental and physical slavery. In one of my songs called I Gave Back the Curse Satan, I said, and I quote, if you don't say what, if we don't say what we mean, we cannot do what we intend. So, what is light? And what does it really mean as in a light-skinned person? Simply put, light is the natural agent that radiates. It brings brightness, uh, thereby stimulate, um, stimulating sight and thus makes things in the physical world visible to our human eyes. In this dimension, or REM, light is superior to darkness or blackness. And please bear in mind that another word for light is white. Therefore, a fair-skinned or a white person is a person that radiates light. A person that brings brightness. A person that shines or at the very least a person that glows even in the dark and among the black. A, a fair-skinned person is a radiant person.
person and a glorious person. From my perspective, if there is a fair-skinned person or if a fair-skinned person truly exists, then here, then he or she is either a god, a goddess, an angel or an extraterrestrial heavenly being and definitely not only, not any of us humans that are native to our planet Earth. I have never seen such a person on this planet. Meaning I have never seen a fair-skinned person, a person without blemish, etc. On this, our planet Earth. This is just another of Satan and his servant's ignorance. Or rather, this is just another of Satan and his servant's ingenious, not ignorance, ingenious lies that is subtly hidden, camouflage, right here in the English dictionary, thereby telling and also having the uncritical, sometimes gullible and unsuspected minded people believe that a fair-skinned person is a European Caucasian. Lie. fair skin. So, do you, my viewers, know or can you think of any human on this planet Earth, let alone a person of European Caucasian origin or descent, that is called a blonde or blondie, that meets any or all of the qualifications to be called or labeled fear skinned can you think of any honestly without being intellectually dishonest and deceiving yourself and being a liar for those of us that are free thinkers with open and intelligent minds. Minds that are capable of trusting our own senses and making our own judgment. We'll agree that the people that are called white, fair-skinned, blonde, without blemished, people without blemished, etc. are not white. And in no sense of the word are they at all white. They are definitely not white or pure in their physical appearance. They are definitely not, definitely not white or pure in their skin complexion. They are definitely not white or pure in the blood in their veins. They are, they are definitely not white or pure in terms of their history. As a people on this our planet, in terms of their character, in terms of their deeds, in terms of their lives, or the fruits that they manifest, etc. They are definitely not white or pure in any of these things. With the exception of the white clothes that they may sometimes wear, exception of maybe their hair, maybe their eyes, or more correctly, the portion of their eyes called sclera, S-C-L-E-R-A. Or maybe some, some of them may have white teeth, or teeth that are white. Like the rest of us humans, natural native earthly humans, nothing else about them is white are fair skinned period it is a big it is the big black lie the big evil lie that satan his children his ministers agents and administrators of the slavery economic system have used to deceive the whole world the fact is that those people that are erroneously called white, the European Caucasian people, with respect to their physical appearance and skin complexion, are most accurately described, as I mentioned earlier in another video, as pale, pinkish pale, or reddish pink, 
or from a more biological and scientific perspective, they are melanin and carbon deficient and nothing even close to white or that which is called white. The proper use and interpretation of an English dictionary coupled with the application of intellectual honesty and basic common sense will authenticate these facts to the truth seekers. And from my perspective, for you are, for anyone to think, believe, and teach otherwise is to fall into one of the following six categories. You are just being intellectually dishonest, which in my books qualify you as a black, as black and as a devil. Two, you are mentally, physically, and spiritually blind, and thus you are engulfed in darkness. You are engulfed in blackness and in ignorance. Three, you are being deceived by Satan the devil, the evil one himself or itself, or herself. Four, you are being deceived by Satan's chosen people, his agents, Satan's ministers and servants, and the children of Satan, the devil himself. Five, if you are teaching these things, you are a, you are a liar. And the literal or spiritual seed or child of Satan, the devil. According to the man today called Jesus or Christ, Jesus and Christ, Jesus or Jesus the Christ. And I quote, according to what is written that he has, they said that he said. He said, you belong to your father, the devil. And you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native tongue, for he is a liar and the father of lies." Unquote. So to think and believe that you are fair-skinned, or to think and believe that you are white, and to be knowingly presenting yourselves as white or fair-skinned, is to confess or more correctly, it is to admit to the world that you are Satan's children. Therefore, you are a devil. And to assume, and, to, and the same is true for all those who think, believe, and teach that they are black and knowingly presenting themselves as black people or Negroes. You too belong to this or to one of the other five categories. Six, you are a fool, meaning you have very little sense and intelligence. Not that you, you have no sense or intelligence, but you have very little. This is the end of video 13. So please switch to video 14 now or at your convenience and join me for the continuation of this presentation titled Ignorance of White and Black Supremacy Exposed.